Hi everybody, Laura McGuire here, Creative Memories Advisor from Cranston, Rhode Island. And I'm finally getting around to doing a video. I hemmed and hawed, I didn't know what to do. So um, I did have a small card class this week and I thought I'd do a card with you. <clears throat> I couldn't find I couldn't really find the page design or come up with a page design. So I, I said, well, let me show you how to make this really cute swing card like that. So let's get going. All right, so you need a card base, your regular card base. And I scored it. I already did it at, it's four and a quarter this way. So you want the score line to be at two and one eighth, two and one eighth. Okay, so, so let me show you all the components. There are two strips cut at um, two and an eighth. They're two and an eighth by five and a half. I die cut a happy birthday and it, the dies are not creative memories. We don't carry dies, but you can, you can use a stamp or a sticker or whatever you want. And I also die cut some balloons, but again, <clears throat> you can use a punch or a stamp or whatever you have for that. And then you need two circles. One cut with a custom cutting system circle on the inside with the green blade and one cut, well, you can do this with a green blade, but I, I use the blue blade because I wanted it a little small. So um, those two circles and that's one, one I use designer paper. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah. The, that, the balloons are going to go on that one. And I wanted them to show up. They wouldn't show up on the print side. And this one's going to go on here. So why don't we do that now and get that part done. So I'm using repositionable tape runner. So it'll stick. And it won't get all over the place. Other than my mat, which I can clean up pretty easily. And we'll put that one on the larger, because that's going in the front, front of the card. I w was never a big die cut, you know, die machine person. But when I started doing cards and started running out of stickers, I decided maybe dies would come in handy. So I'm just wiping the uh, residue from the repositionable tape runner. So we're gonna just place the balloons on that one and set these aside. Now, I wanna, we're gonna fold this backwards like that. And we're gonna put one of these strips here and one of them here. So this will be the front of the card. When it's closed, it'll look like one sheet of paper, somewhat like one sheet of paper. So let's get these on. You don't have to use repo for this, but that's what's in my hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'll put that one on if I can. And this one on this side. This is a fairly simple card that looks like it's more involved, but it, it's not. It's, it's simple. All you have to do is know the dimensions and the tools to use. 
Now, again, like you know, I'm not a dye person. I am a Creative Memories tool person, which I love. So you want to open this up, open this up. And I'm going to turn it this way. And we want to cut the circle. There may be dyes out there that do the same thing. But I am going to use my custom cutting system. It's the largest circle. I want to kind of center it. And I'm trying. I think that's about centered. And you're going to use the green blade. So it's going to be the same size as this circle. You're going to use the green blade. You're going to start at the fold. And you're going to end at the fold. And I think I'm there. Yep, I am. So now you have this. Okay, so so now let's see. I have to look at my original. I did cut it wrong. I cut it wrong. I'm going to have to do this over. I cut it here and it should have been cut this way. So let's take these off. And I don't know where my scoring blade is, so I am going to fold this backwards like that. Using the scoring blade is better. It's always it's always on film that I make these mistakes put this back here and what did I do with my other one here it is and this here okay now I'm gonna open it this way and I'm gonna cut this way Yes. <laughs> so now what did I do with it? There we go. And I'm using the green blade. Which is kind of funny because if you're not making a ton of these, one right after another after another, you kind of forget. So, okay, I'm going to start at the fold. But it's really you're starting at the edge of the of the designer paper. That's maybe easier to see and go to the end of it. And now we have this. Okay. I don't know if that's on right, but anyways. So now we're gonna we're gonna put this on. I'm sorry I messed up. So what you want to remember is you're cutting your half sick circle to the left of the of the fold and not to the right of the fold. There. So now we'll place this. This should fit right in there and it does. And that's because I, I cut the blue circle with the green blade and I cut this, I cut the half circle with the green blade. And now this one, you have to be careful. So I'm putting, I'm putting the uh, tape runner on the half circle rather than the full circle because I don't want this, I, w I don't want this side to stick to that. And I can, I mean, I, I did this because I want to leave, I want to leave a little border there. Okay, so that's the card. So I will review everything that I did.
So you have a regular card base that is five and a half by four and a quarter. You're going to score it. You're going to score the front at two and one eighth. You're going to cut two strips of paper that are two and one eighth by five and a half. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, by five and a half. And you're going to place them. After you score at two and one eighth, you're going to fold it back. And you're going to place the, the two strips on, on the edges. Okay? Then you're going to take the largest cutting cus, custom cutting system pattern. And you're going to center it on the fold or on the edge of the designer paper and you're going to cut a half circle with the green blade and then you and then you just you, you just place your um decorative pieces on and you have a nice happy birthday card i again i apologize for for making a mistake and you can see i mean depending on what you use to cut the paper or what what designer paper you use there it can have a different look but it's a birthday card but you can make it into a congratulations card or whatever message that you want to say you can say well thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye now